Alright, what's up YouTube? This is a video on how to fix the open tray error for the Xbox 360. As you can see, my Xbox is already open. I use my Xbox for hot swapping. And I am opening the disk drive. It doesn't even play the game. As you can see, open tray error. Open. Close. Let's see. Nothing happens. I could do this all day long and it may read the game once in a while, but that's what, like one in a hundred tries. So to fix this, I found several methods that may or may not work for you. So the very first method is removing it removing the disc, making sure the Xbox is off, locating or just grabbing a cotton swab and just gently clear the lens the lens on the 360 this helps remove any dust particles on the lens and doing that increases the chance of it reading your disc and be sure to just clean around the disc tray try to get rid of all these dust particles in here which makes it harder for the Xbox for the lens to read it. Another method that you guys could use to get rid of all these dust particles without even touching it is getting a hair dryer. Here I'm going to use my mom's hair dryer just to blow off the dust from the Xbox. And then I find this very effective because I'm not even touching the Xbox. No circuit board is being used. Not used, but like not touched right. So, so I'm gonna want to disconnect the Xbox. And here I have the hair dryer. And as you can see, since I have an open Xbox. A lot of dust particles start building up. Dust bunnies start clogging the the circuit boards. And the reason this happens is because of a fan in the back, which blows out the hot air, sucks sucks in particles of the air. So you want to get the fan, just turn it on and be sure to get as many dust particles out of the Xbox as you can. And then I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible in one second. And, well, I don't know if you guys saw it, but some of those particles actually flying off. This helps clean the Xbox and if you look at the spot I have it located you see some dust particles over here just quickly clean that off with some napkins so wherever you have your Xbox make sure to have it clean okay so once you think you have cleaned your Xbox from the inside that helps a lot one of the main problems that causes the open disk tray errors when you have the Xbox standing up and it collapses or falls down, it causes a little knob in the back of the laser dial to actually move a bit, which unfocuses the laser right about. I'm trying to walk it for you guys. I don't know if you guys see it. It's the one on the right, on the top over here. So if I were to have the Xbox face me, it would be the one on the right side. So here it is again, the top knob on top of the laser dial. So to focus that into reading your disc once again, you have to slightly turn it to the either left or right. Just make up your mind and decide which way you're going to turn the knob so you want to mess with it 
I, I already found my adjustment so once you find your own adjustment you want to turn it you want to turn it to where you want it okay so once you have it adjusted on the spot you want be sure to mark it just in case it ever moves from its spot again I don't know if you can see it but um, I've actually marked the tip of the knob with a sharpie therefore I know where to where to turn it back to where to locate the spot so um it's two knobs once again in the back of the laser lens this controls the focusing the one on the left I believe controls the speed of the of the motor over here so um, the right one controls the laser focus the left one speed and then please do not mess with the left one just it's the one on the right slightly turn it to the left or right do not make a complete turn so either make a quarter turn to the left quarter turn to the right if that doesn't work just do a half turn half turn guys not a full turn doing a full turn will cause it to get defected and a defective drive is pretty much useless so yeah let's here you go I'm gonna turn it back to the spot to the adjustment spot and reconnect everything just to show you guys that it, this method does work Let's see There, I have everything connected on the Xbox now. Get the faceplate back on. Turn the Xbox on. Once it's on, get your disc. Place the magnet. Look up to the Xbox. Oh, TV actually. <laughs> So we have the disc inside the game, inside the console. Turn on the remote. And there you go guys, we have it working. The reason the first time it didn't work was because I accidentally <laughs> chose the Halo 3 disc which I had the Halo reach in the Halo 3 disc I have is cracked it's really messed up but as you can see the console is now recognizing the game and it's reading it there you go um, here was the reach game I was supposed to put this in